Mark. Minus 57 minutes and counting. It's a big endeavor. The world's largest segmented solid rocket motor test. With a sense of anticipation. So you're going to see it, then you're going to hear it, and then you're going to feel it. As hundreds gather to see. Test conductor report. This. So this booster is a totally new booster. It's called the Bole, or Booster Obsolescence and Life Extension Booster. The most powerful segmented rocket booster ever created. It's the first tip-to-tail new booster that NASA has tested uh, since about 1975. Eventually, this rocket will power the Space Launch System to take Artemis missions to the moon. And today, watching on, is Dave Reynolds. Exploration is is in our blood. And As a native Utahan from Roy, he's looked to the stars since he can remember. The first experience that I can really remember that was related to space was when I was in second grade. My teacher wheeled in a, a TV and the class watched the Space Shuttle Challenger. And while that disaster impacted everyone, there was something about the bravery of those astronauts that sparked something in me as a kid. Today, he no longer lives in Utah, since now, I'm the SLS Booster Program Manager at NASA. Yeah, at Marshall Space Flight Center, NASA. With his dream come true, let's see Roger. what he and many more. All required personnel are on Part station. Been able to pull off. Commence communication checks. Five, four, three, two, one. It's silent for about the first three or four seconds, and then it hits you. A light show and power of epic proportions. And it just rumbles your bones for two minutes. Lifted high into the sky. E plus 60 seconds. Shook the mountainside. I mean, I guarantee they heard it from miles and miles around. Central support system operator. The test went perfect for about 100 seconds. E plus 100 seconds. Until an explosion rocked the hillside. Activate absolution. Activated. Whoa. Followed by another. Two plus 110 seconds. Our camera close up captured even more. So, what happened? Well, I'm going to point it out on this old space shuttle booster they have here. The problem lies at the back with the nozzle. We know those two explosions came from some failure within the nozzle at the back of the Bolay booster, but they don't know exactly what failed yet. But the truth is, this is the first new motor that's been tested in decades for NASA, and so scientists are very happy with the results they got today. So generally speaking, it was a very successful test. There's things that we're definitely gonna learn. We went into this test knowing that we were going to be pushing the limits on some materials. Four more tests lie ahead, so rest assured, they'll get it right. And so this is the first step. We want to make sure that we learn every single thing that we possibly can. So despite work to be done, it's a perfect start to a program it will inspire millions. This is the reason why the Artemis program exists. Spencer Joseph. What would little he, sitting in his classroom in Utah, think about today? Fox 13 News. Little me would just be jumping for joy. Yeah. He'd be so excited to be a part of this. Utah.